What's your mission? To stop the war. What war? The war to end all wars. Weapons far deadlier than you can ever imagine. The war can be ours. Whoever you are, you are in more danger than you think. I cannot stand by while innocent lives are lost. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, Sex is Hell host of the Life Games channel, bringing you guys the best in streaming entertainment. We doing fitness, we hitting the movie reviews, your complete circle of Life Games on this channel. And today we're talking stream it or theater beam it, Wonder Woman. Is this movie gonna be worth going to the theater or are you gonna stay at home and stream it? I want you guys to let me know. What is it that drives you to the movie theater? What is it that will get you to spend your hard-earned money in a theater? Is it the experience in the theater, the quality of the movie, the entertainment of the movie? That's what we're going to find out. We're going to get a little history on Wonder Woman, and we're going to jump right on into it. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Game. So on June the 2nd, ladies and gentlemen, the reprise of Wonder Woman comes out. It was produced and directed by Patty Jenkins. She's famous for doing Monster the Movie, Killing the Netflix original. She's also done Arrested Development to give you a little bit of background on her. And the star of this Wonder Woman movie is Gal Gadot. And I felt like in Batman vs. Superman, she stole the show with scenes such as this. Who are you? Someone interested in the same man you are. You know, I bet with that dress, nine out of ten men that you get away with anything. But you're the tenth. Oh, I don't think you've ever known a woman like me. When they first said that she was going to play Wonder Woman in that movie, I was a little concerned. Now, mind you, she is a starlet. She is hot as shit. Beautiful. She has the skin tone, the hair, all the Amazon stuff, but she didn't have the physique. When I think of an Amazon, I think of someone that's kind of thick with it, you know, like Ronda Rousey or someone that's thick with it and got muscles like Serena Williams. That's what I thought about it when they first announced that it was going to be Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman. But after seeing what she did in Batman vs. Superman, I quickly and instantly fell in love with her playing this role. And this could be the movie that reprises the DC Cinematic Universe because they have been dropping terrible movies. That Green Lantern suck. Batman vs. Superman, eh, it was alright. But this story seems to be right from the comic book plot. And based on what I've seen, it goes right in line with what they did in the comic book. So basically, an Anglo-Saxon man finds this island of the Amazons. An island with nothing but women. Hot, tanned, beautiful hair women. Can you imagine what would have happened if a brother would have found that island? You know, I'm just saying. But long story short, they follow that storyline. He finds that island. She's going to come back to America with him because there is a war going on with some crazy dictators who are coming up with a weapon that could, in essence, destroy the whole world. And, of course, if you follow the comics, the Amazonians really don't want to go help anybody except for their own islands. They believe in all these gods and that type deal. 
And actually, Wonder Woman is the child of a god. Her mom had sex with a god, birthed her into this planet, and there you go. Following that storyline in the comic books, I think that this could really help bring the DC Universe back to fruition and set us up for the whole Justice League movie. Throughout the, the trailers and everything I've seen, it looks to be great action. Um, Gal Gadot does a good job. And just the gravity and the depth of her story. She had a great comic book story. And as a comic book nerd, I love it when these movies stick to the original source material in the comic books. And if this movie does very well, I'm sure there's going to be a Wonder Woman series. And she had one of the best series in all comics. Now, don't get it twisted. She is powerful. The chick is, is as strong as a god. She's invulnerable. She knows how to use a sword. She's a warrior. She's got those wristbands. She's got the shield. Her biggest weapon is that lasso of truth that is indestructible. And when you throw it around people, it makes them tell the truth. But at the same time, her storyline has also had her fight other people in the DC comic book universe. And she's got that ass beat before a couple of times, ladies and gentlemen. And it made for some great drama. She's gotten into it with Superman. She's gotten into it with other gods. And if they can pick up on some of those original source materials, I think this could be the movie that brings DC back into fruition and sets it apart from some of the other crap that they have dropped in the past years and they'll get a chance to catch back up with Marvel. So you guys let me know, are you gonna go check it out in the theater or are you gonna stream it at home? For those of you that wanna know where it's gonna be located for home streaming. I've already found it on the Zen add-on. There it is. It's not live and it's not ready, it's not working now. But I'm sure the day that the movie drops or maybe even a couple of days before it drops, you might can find it here. For those of you that are going to be looking to stream it and not blow the money and go to the movie theater, even though I suggest this is one you go see. So there are your options. Again, let me know. What is it that gets you to the movie theater? What drives you there? Is it the experience? The overall quality of the movie? What gets you in the theater? And are you going to catch this one in theaters? I can tell you right now, I'm going to be in there. My ass is going to be in the theater watching this one. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself a life game. Be on the lookout for this movie. It comes out June 2nd. Should be a good one. I'm predicting that this is going to be one of the best DC movies they've done in the history of doing DC movies. This is going to help bring the franchise back. Be sure to check my video description box. Check out who I do business with. Check out my affiliates. Check me out. Check out my past videos. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.